everybody welcome back Jiu Jitsu 2000 here today let's take a look and find out where we are so I'm looking around I'm in a neat area but I don't really know where I am. So what I want to do is I want to share some techniques with you today to help you determine your position. These are some navigational techniques and no it's not about reading maps it's about determining where north is, where south is, east and west. that I'm going to share with you today is called the shadow stick method. And basically what you want to do is you want to place a stick into the ground. Okay? You want it to stand upright. I'm going to gather some rocks so I can put them around the base of the stick and I'll talk about this technique. Part of this technique is burying a stick. And no, you don't have to bury the whole thing, you just have to make the stick go into the ground. You need some dirt to hold it into its position. Okay, it doesn't have to be like crazy solid or anything like that. You just need it to not be moving around on you. And what'll happen is that stick a shadow and what you want to do is you want to mark that tip of the shadow with a rock and what we'll do is we'll come back every 10 minutes and we'll continue to mark the position of the shadow that's being cast by this stick So here's a closer view of my setup. I have basically just a stick in the ground and right here at the end of the shadow I'm placing a stone. I'm going to place stones every 10 minutes give or take a minute or two. I mean it doesn't have to be exactly on the 10 minute mark. You can go 12-15 minutes and place a stone. You could do 8 minutes if you need. but it needs to be in increments okay and it doesn't have to be exact increments and I'll explain a little more here in a minute hello fellas Okay everybody, so there's my shadow and every 10 minutes or so I would put a rock on the ground. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over that direction and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about it.
the line of rocks that you see represent an eastward and westward line. So I'm going to lay this stick down to show this line. Well, obviously, parallel, or not parallel, but at 90 degrees from this stick, I'll lay another stick down. And this stick will ne represent north and south. Now you're probably sitting there wondering, how do you determine which side is actually east and which side is west? Okay? So as you see it right now, you just see an eastward-westward line, but you don't know if this is west or if that's west. So here's a couple simple things to think about. The sun comes up in the east, okay? And then it heads slightly southward during the day till it gets to high noon, okay? Then high noon, the sun kind of goes westward. Okay, and I hope you can see my hands. <clears throat> well, in the morning time, that sun would cast a shadow to the west of the stick. And if the sun was up here, meaning the afternoon, and you have your stick here, the sun would cast a shadow to the east. The sun is a little bit west of me because we're in the afternoon. So just by my shadow alone, we know the east is this way. Okay, and we, we also laid out our rocks to get a rough eastward line. So that would mean that this would be north, that would be east, this closest to you is south, and over this direction is west. South and West. And this again, this technique is referred to as the shadow stick method. I hope you found this video useful. I hope you found some good information here. And again, I appreciate you watching. Feel free to leave comments, feel free to subscribe, and have a beautiful day everybody. Bye bye now.